How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of No Man Land Survival Challenge. We just got done planting our new field with Shorgum, and now it's time to batten down the hatches, make as much money as possible, and start building up that production. Just a reminder, if you guys like these videos and you enjoy this content, go ahead, smash that like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so we just got done uh, planting our new field with uh, Shorgum. So we need to put some of our equipment away, store all the seeds, fertilizer, lime, everything that we have left over, and kind of batten down the hatches and get ready to progress into harvest season. So I think first things first, we'll um, go ahead and get all the pallets, bags, everything put away, and then we'll start stacking equipment in and go from there. So let's go ahead and get this spreader um off of here i think we'll go ahead and take the fertilizer out of it too that way we know what fertilizer we have let's see can we stick this right here let's see Boop. there we go all right so let's put all the equipment over here for now we'll get our pallet forks on the front we need to get the weight off and let's see here here we are and then this one we could probably just push in there can't we can we just push that bag in and then we need to get our, maybe our, nah, we don't need our front loader attachment. We can just push this one in. That works. We need our pallet forks. So let's go ahead and get our weight off. We'll stick that over here. And we're looking really good, guys. We got harvest coming up very soon. Probably a couple months. We're going to batten down and get the new sawmill running because that's going to make us a ton of money. And hopefully by the end of year six, we'll have a couple million in the bank, which would be really good. Yeah. Why are we not picking up? There we go. Now we got to be very careful. If we drive over our canola now, it's definitely going to do crop destruction. So I'm going to be as vigilant as I can not to run over my crops. I have a, it blends in with our grass. We gotta make sure we don't run into the canola right now. So, all right, we'll get all this put away. And then I think it'll be time to get all the equipment put away. So, uh, I'm not sure how I wanna organize the equipment, honestly. Um, you know what I may do, because, that wagon's really not doing anything for us lately. Is it time to get rid of the auger or the forge wagon for now? Um, we don't really have any need for it. Because right now we're using the baler. And I think bales work good. You know, I mean, we can just set them over there and they just sit, right? So I, maybe we take the forge wagon up and sell it. And then we need to get a new mulcher next, probably. Um, that'll be our next big purchase and then I think we're pretty much good a mulcher and a plant or a cedar And we're good on equipment So I mean the rollers decent size, so I'm not really worried about it this thing though on the other hand We might just go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, I don't really see any need for this guy So I'm not gonna have equipment just sitting around Depreciating away, so let's go up here Repair and repaint this guy and actually we don't have the money to repair and repaint it right now So maybe we'll do that tomorrow, but we're gonna definitely do that uh, Let's set it off to the side for now, I guess and then We're gonna need Some of the equipment come here in a couple months So maybe let's see here um, Hmm we probably won't need the stump grinder for another while, so let's go ahead and stick that in the back of the shed. That I know we're done with for a while, unless we get onto that field over there and we find more stumps. Um, we'll use this once we get this land behind us here and we start taking out the small trees, and do a mow over there, but that's gonna be a little ways off. I'm not, it's probably four or five months out of here, so let's go ahead and we'll just stick this in here for now. Um, oh, 
wrong button there. There we go. And yeah, I think we're looking pretty daggum good. Uh, let's put the cedar away, because that'll be last to come out from all the other equipment. I think, do we have any thing in the cedar? Um, let's see here. Um, no, we emptied it out. Okay, good. So, we may end up replacing this too, depending on where we're at when we get ready to see next time money-wise. So, we'll just go ahead for now. We'll stick this inside here. Get it right next to this uh, stump grinder, I believe. There we go. And we can come back a little ways with it. There we go. Right up against the wall. Very nice. There we are. And let's see, what do we put in next? Um, we need... Actually, we really don't have much left. Let's put the uh, mulcher in front of the... Hmm. Kind of want to move that over, but nah, I think we'll be all right. Let's put the mulcher in front of the roller. Um, we're going to need it here in a while as well, but we may, again, this is another one of those ones we may upgrade very shortly. But for now, let's see. Let's put it in front of the roller. And then we'll kind of store all the lawn care equipment and spreader in there as well. And then uh, hopefully we'll be in a spot we can... Oh, I'm going to lower it. There we go. Get everything else taken care of. So let's see. Let's put the mower in there first on the right-hand side or left-hand side there. Um, this thing is extremely hard to back, but we'll give it a shot here. Alright, here goes nothing. Yeah, this thing is like extremely sensitive when it comes to backing because it turns itself, so... Did we do a good job? Let's see. We might run over our weight, but I think we're fine. Nope. Yeah, we do that. Nice. I'll take that. All day. Every day. And we didn't hit our weight, really. Sweet. Right, that works for me. Mm, is it this side we get on? Which side is it? The other side? Yeah, the other side. Just getting a little bit of the yard cleaned up here. You know how we like to have it nice and tidy. Oopsie. Um... That way stuff's out of the way and we can get through with the trailer a lot easier and sell here because the next couple months that we're going to do, we're going to be selling and taking care of the sheep and getting our new sawmill. Um, we need to get that up and running. That's our next big goal. So we've been talking about it for a while now and we need to get it done. So. That's good right there. We can put the tether. You know, we could put the tether right in front of. Yeah, we probably should have put it in first, honestly. That's all right. We can pull it out. Not a big deal. 
Eh, we'll put it in front of the mower because we're going to have to get it out of there regardless. So we'll put this in that little spot right there between the mulcher and the mower, I believe, if we can. There we go. Back the other way here. Oop. There we are. We're going to hit. Nope. Should be good. Yeah, there we go. That looks good to me. And then, actually, we could put the tether in front of the mulcher, so that way we can get the mower out. And then we'll put the spreader in front of... Uh, maybe, actually... But we need the tether before we do the um, baling. So maybe we'll put the mulcher in front of the baler, or the tether in front of the baler, and the spreader in front of the mulcher. So let's do that. Is that enough room for the spreader there? I'm not sure if it is or not. Maybe not. Let's see here. Get it over just a hair more here. And we sh We might be able to get the mower out of there. We'll see. If not, we'll move it. It's not a big deal. All right, we'll get the spreader in here. And hopefully before too long we'll have a bigger garage be good for us actually let me see if I can maybe I can put the spreader I just need room to get in there or get out of my tractor yeah that's not bad um, we could move that tether over just a hair might as well go ahead and do that while we're here so that way we can get to the mower when we need it There we go. That's much better. All right. Um, yeah, now that we got everything put away, let's go grab our trailer and get it per positioned for tomorrow morning's sell. And then let's go ahead and look at prices here. What are we going to be selling first in the morning? Planks or honey? Probably honey. Um, so we'll get our trailer. Where is it at? Oh, we left it way over there. So we'll have to go grab that and we'll get it in position. Once we do that, we'll go ahead and move into June. Uh, see where we stand. Get everything sold and kind of go from there. But yeah, we're looking pretty good here. We just need to do probably a couple of months worth of selling. And we'll be ready for... Um, a new sawmill. Once we get the new sawmill down, then we're going to start looking at adding the uh, cattle and chickens uh, and also the production for that. So, um, possibly a dairy. And I don't think we'll do a bakery. We, we'll probably just sell the eggs, honestly. I don't think we'll need a dairy or anything or a bakery. Now, because a bakery, it takes what flour too, right? I, I, we, we need to look at that. We'll look at the uh, production chain for bakery. I, I don't know what it takes to make cake. Is it butter, cheese, and milk? I think it's it's a lot of stuff, right? And I don't think it pays what it would take for all those ingredients to go into there. So we'll look at it, though. Maybe. It might. 
And then we're just gonna do a loop here. Get this guy in position. Make sure we don't run over our canola. Ugh. Oh, that was close. That was very, very, very close. I think we got just a little hair of it down. Dude, stop it. What are you doing? The turn like I told you to. Okay, well, we destroyed a little bit of our canola. Life's rough. What do you do? Okay, it's a good spot for that. It didn't want to turn as sharp as I wanted it to, and I think we destroyed, yeah, just a little baby bit. We're okay. Just tiny, tiny little bit. All right, tractor. You're not you're not cooperating with me. That's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Uh, we'll call it a night. Uh, make sure everything's good to go. I think everything's good to go. We'll, we'll double check the... Uh, Let's double check the productions here. Sawmill. Yeah, we're good for tonight. They're good for the rest of the night. And then we'll get uh, everything situated in the morning. And I don't... What the heck was that? Is there a stump there? There must be a stump there that I hit with my... Uh, yeah, there's a stump there. My... Uh, Forks are a little bit low, so yeah, the forks hit the stump there. No big issue. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next month here. All right, so we sold some animals, had some animal upkeep. We're looking pretty decent here. Um, let's go ahead, hop in our tractor. And it is June. Look at that canola blooming. And all right, so we're going to go ahead, get our dailies done here. Uh, we'll get the wool and the spinnery, get the honey and the planks sold, uh, get everything put away, and then we'll catch back up with you guys until then. Enjoy the time lapse. Okay, so tragedy almost struck. <laughs> we uh, I, we were able to get it back up right, you know. A uh, little, little, little scratch on the paint, no big deal. Um, the trailer, I guess, is quite heavy, so we just need to be careful with that. Um, that was that was almost really bad. I didn't think we were going to be able to get the tractor back up, but we did. Um, we still had the combine. We could have come over and pushed it with that if need be, but uh, yeah, that was that was pretty cra pretty crazy. All right, let's get up here and sell this. I'm pretty sure that the farm shop is still the best place. Let's just double check. But yep, it is. Okay, and let's make some money. Let's see, can we do it all in one? Come on, we can do it. Yes, there we go. Boom. 86,000. Very nice. That puts us in a good spot now. And we're looking really good. And it's almost harvest time. Our crops are looking really good. Um, you know, we need to repair our tractor. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe we just drop the trailer right here on the road. We'll pick it up on the way out. I don't feel like backing it up. So we'll just drop it right here for now. It's a good spot. 
I don't know if it's our forks that are so damaged or our tractor, but I think it's our tractor. So we'll just go ahead and repair the tractor. We have the money now. Um, get fueled up, repaired up, and ready to go. Uh, we'll go ahead and repair our forks too. And then we should make pretty close to the same tomorrow, which will allow us to get our sawmill. So that'll be really good. And then, yeah, we need to repair this guy. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, well, not a big deal though. We need the tractor good. So, all right, there we go. We've already got 19 hours on this bad boy. Man, we just got it. But it's doing great things for us. So I'm not, not sad about it at all. We are getting fields made and everything else. So, all right, let's take a look and see here. Um, yeah, planks are at a pretty good price right now. Uh, we got a little bit more coming. Maybe we'll just go grab that one that's next to four grand. All right, we can just wait for tomorrow. It's not a big deal. All right, so fabric, we're good. Straw, we're good. Hay, we're good. Okay, nice. All we need to do is make sure we have enough wood to last in the sawmill until tomorrow. I don't want to overload it because uh, we are going to get rid of it tomorrow. So... Let's go ahead and get hooked up to the trailer, get it back, get it in position for the hunting tomorrow morning, and then we'll go from there. Oh yeah, we need to sell the wagon. We'll take the forge wagon up and sell it um, now that we can repair it and sell it outright. Uh, we'll make a little bit of money, so it won't be too bad, and that'll help with our progress tomorrow. And then I believe maybe one more month or two more months we'll be ready for harvest, so we'll just have to check tomorrow and see if we have any fields ready for harvest. If we do, we'll go ahead and get the harvester on there, start getting that taken care of. Uh, we're going to need a silo soon. Uh, the canola and the sunflower are going to go directly into the plant, so I'm not worried about those. Let's make sure we don't run over our canola. That's the bad, and we don't want to do that. We do not want to run over our canola. And there we go. Trailer's ready for tomorrow. All right, let's take a look here and see how much wood is actually in the sawmill. Let's just go up to our cabin because we're probably going to go ahead and progress in the next month here. Um, canola should be ready soon. When's canola ready? Canola probably going to be next month. Um, I can't remember when we planted it. If we planted it in the second month of planting or the first month, but it'll be ready within the next two months. And then sorghum will be ready and sunflower will be ready after that. So... We'll need a silo for our shorgum because uh, that's going to be used. Or if we have enough money, we'll just go ahead and down put down a chicken coop and get the food in there because that's what that's going to be for is feeding the chickens. Um, let me just make sure, see how much wood we have in there. Yeah, we have enough to last through the night. Um, we should be pretty low after that. And wool's good. These guys are perfect. They've still got plenty of stuff down there. So let's go ahead and get into the next month and see if we can upgrade our sawmill here. The angry moose. It's kind of weird they put that in the game, but it's like a screaming animal. All right, so we sold some animals. Nice, we're up to 66,000. A little bit of upkeep there as well. And let's see where we stand. Yep, honey and planks are ready to go. And how's our sawmill? Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so we're out of wood there. Let's go get all this stuff sold and get our new sawmill. So again, just another quick daily chore time lapse and we'll catch back up with you guys as soon as we're done selling or we're on our way to sell actually so um until then we'll see you in a few minutes
All right, so let's get this honey sold. I'm pretty sure it's going to the farm shop here. So let's just make sure. Yep, farm shop. And we're good to go. I think what we'll do is we'll turn our planks on to selling. Just sell everything that's in the sawmill out. Top of the hour here. All right, let's slow down so we don't tip our trailer again. It's already starting to rock, so we don't want that to happen. Let's get all this sold. All right, and I think we'll get more than $100 for our sawmill that we got over there. So let's uh, get rid of the clicking from the straps there. And let's go ahead. We'll turn our planks to selling. We'll put the new sawmill down after 10 o'clock. We'll go ahead and sell the uh, forge wagon. We're not using it and get money for it. We should have sold it last month, but that's okay. All right, let's do that to selling. Oh, no, no, not that. No, wood planks. There we go. All right, that way we'll be completely empty after 10 o'clock on the uh, sawmill. We won't have any wasted wood or anything there. So let's see. Let's just park the trailer right here for now. And then we'll take off the pallet forks. There we go. And we'll get the weight on because we're going to need to put all the new wood into the new sawmill. And fill it up completely. So this one we're going to fill all the way up. And let it run because it's going to make everything we want it to make. Prefabs, beams, planks, everything. So I am uh, looking forward to that. All right, can we get a hold of that guy? Nope, we're off just a hair there. Yeah, I mean, this thing's been good, but we haven't used it in like a year. So I think it's time to just get rid of it. We, ha we haven't been using it. We've been using our, um, what's called the uh, baler. So I, I just don't feel like we need a forge wagon right now. And we'll have enough money later on. If we need to, we can go ahead and get a bigger one. Uh, but I just don't see any purpose for the forge wagon right now. So let's go ahead and sell it. It'll get us a little bit more money. And then we'll get through July. We're going to start harvesting. I think next month is when the uh, canola will be ready to harvest. The shorghum should be ready very shortly as well. And I think the sunflower will be a little bit later at the end of this year. But uh, for right now, let's do this. Okay, this guy here. Repair. Yes. Repaint. Yes. And sell. There we go. That takes us up over. Nice. Made an extra thousand dollars on top of what we were going to make just by repairing and repainting, which is good. So let's go head over to the sawmill, get it put down and get wood in there and then it can have all of this year so we'll have we're in year six it'll have three and a half years of running which will be really good um so we'll make a lot of money from that and then next month we'll get the canola oil and running again and then as soon as the sunflower is ready we'll get that running shorghum we're gonna have to get going um like I said, we may have enough money. Actually, we probably will have enough money by the time we harvest short. And we'll go ahead and get the chickens down, uh, get them going, get that filled up. If we have any excess, we may have enough money to go ahead and down, put down the silo we want to get. And we can do that. And then, yeah, we're good to go. Next thing we're going to do is to basically just save up as much money as possible and start putting down, like, the clothing shop, the cattle, uh, getting all that sorted out. Then we'll get a dairy and start making milk and cheese and we'll kind of see what we're at time frame wise once we get that taken care of so let's get the i'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the winch and we'll get this guy sold here in about 15 minutes worth of time on the game because we need those planks to sell might as well get rid of those we don't want to waste any money although we've wasted a lot of money doing other silly stuff but oh wrong side 
We went to the wrong side. Um, yeah, doing that land over there may have cost us a little bit. We're probably irritated enough with it. We're probably going to spend some more money on it later. But for right now, we're good. All right, so um, let's see about getting this new sawmill down here in nine minutes or so. Go ahead and turn that off, and then we'll just let time pass here. And I'm pretty sure we'll just make sure those get out of there, and then we should be good to go. Got plenty of wool in. These guys are still staying fed. We're going to have plenty of sheep next month having babies and things. So, yeah, doing really good. All right. Six more minutes, let's speed that up. Here we go. All right, we should be uh, sold now. Let's double check, yep, we're good. Made a little extra money. Let's do some building. Um, let me just double check. I wanna make sure here. <laughs> that this new sawmill is only 150. I've been saying 150, but I'm, I I just don't want to misspeak here. So that's that one right there. Yep. Okay. So it is 150. So we are good to go. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one for 9,550. And then we'll get this one in. Okay. So let's see here. Let's snap it on. And make sure it's straight. Yep, looks straight to me. And let's see if we can't put it. Um, we want to put it in the same spot, essentially. If we can. This camera being off is bugging me. Um, let me just spin this just to make sure. Okay, yep. We're good there. And then we're going to be good there. We can probably move it back just a hair here. Let's see. Boom. There we go. Yes, please. And then we'll have to smooth that out when we get some money. But for now, we should be good. We can get in and out of there. All right, let's load this thing up on wood and get this thing going because this is going to be our money maker. Okay, we will see you guys in a few minutes. Until then. Enjoy. Okay, that was good. Let's see. Sawmill is full. 
and we'll hang on to the wood chips for now. We'll store all those wool. We're sitting on really good. These guys, of course, have food and we are ready to progress into the next month and start probably harvesting our canola. So let's get that going. All right, we sold some animals. Let's check our map here and let's just have a quick look and see. We have um, $134,000 in prefab walls in one night. Like I said, guys, that makes money. All right, we need to get those sold because the price is coming down. Planks will get sold. These other planks will get sold. Wood beams will get sold. Um, and these planks as well. Those go to the farm shop with the honey, so we'll probably get the other planks, but we need to get the planks, long planks, wood beams, and that. We need to get all that on the trailer and get it sold. Actually, no. Do the prefab walls first, and then we'll do the other two. So that is what I'm talking about. And we need to get harvesting. So we may go ahead and throw the uh, harvester on the... Uh, Canola here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw the harvester on, get it going. Um, it's definitely going to take some time to get that done, but we can get it going. We'll probably need to repair it as well. Let's see if we need to, how much it's going to cost to repair the uh, harvester. And if we can do it with the money we have, we'll go ahead and do it. Because um, that needs to be repaired. Yeah, it needs to be repaired before we start. So let's go get that repaired. And then once we get all this sold, we'll look at getting our chickens down and getting that going. And then from there, we'll look into cows next month or the following. So we'll definitely have cows by the end of this, end of this month. And we'll have canola oil processing. We're going to have a lot of stuff going. This is going to be great, guys. Super, super excited about this. Unfold, fold. All right. So... We're going to make us some good money right now. And we went from making $50,000 out of a sawmill to a couple hundred thousand each month, which is going to be where we make a lot of our money from. So, and if we get to a point we have enough money to just kind of do stuff, we may just sit and wait for best prices, man. Just sell that stuff when it's ready. All right, how much does it cost to repair this thing? All right, we got enough. Let's go ahead and repair it. Here we go. And we might as well fill up on fuel while we're here. Just go ahead and get it ready for all the harvesting it's going to do. Uh, we have three fields that we need to harvest here very shortly. I'm not sure if the shorghum's ready yet. We'll check on it real quick and see. Let's look here. No, shorghum will probably be next month and the sunflower will be following. So shorghum, yeah, shorghum will be next month because we planted in the far month here. So we'll get the shorghum next month and then we'll get um, the sunflower in November, October, November time frame. So, that'll be good. All right, off we run. Let's get to harvesting and get to selling. And it's gonna be a very, very busy next couple of months. So I'm really excited about that. We'll probably go ahead and get the semi so we can haul the trailer with the semi and get rid of the dolly. Um, we'll probably upgrade the grain truck as well and get the double, there's a double grain trailer that I want. It's about 160. We need to get the uh, new mulcher and a, um, what was the other thing in there that we needed to get a new, a cedar, okay? So we'll probably get the cedar first. Um, we'll get the chickens down, We'll get maybe we'll get a barn down too soon. We need to get a uh, garage down so we can repair our vehicles and switch them out up here. So lots to do, lots to do, lots to do. And it's gonna come very, very quickly. All right. Get that on there. Get this guy unfolded and let's get him on the canola. And we are harvesting. And away you go, my friend. 
See you later. All right, let's get the trailer, get over there. We need to get the um, pallet forks on the front and get the weight. Nah, I don't think we'll need the weight. We'll be fine. Uh, we'll leave the weight here. We'll get the trailer, get the uh, pallet forks, get over there and start loading up all the uh, prefab walls, get those sold. And we've got honey to sell. We've got, oh, we need to do the uh, wool real quick. Let's do that. I know we need to get that in. So let's get the wool in. And we need to get a clothing shop a ASAP. Uh, that's the next thing we need to do is get a clothing shop in there so we can start making clothes. I think one spinnery can handle a clothing shop. If not, we'll put down another spinnery and uh, sheep pen and get more sheep and get more wool. Um, but we will definitely get the clothing shop up within the next month or two. And I think maybe that's the order we'll do it. We'll get uh, new mulcher, new cedar, clothing shop, chickens cattle and that'll be that'll get us through probably the end of the year um, with everything we have going and then we'll work on keeping that sawmill full and if it seems like the beams and the long planks are costing us too much money or too much wood and it's going through too much wood too fast then we'll uh, slow it down but for right now Producing four products overnight is a good thing. So, we'll see. How much wood did it go through last night, I wonder? Let's look and see real quick. Um, Production-wise, it went through about 25,000. So, we got like four months at a full... Yeah, we're going to go through a lot of wood here. Um, that's 2,000, 1,000, 1,000. So, we got 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 500. 4,500 trees or what it counts as an equivalent, but that's, oh, we got to multiply that. So technically that's 2,000, let's call that 3,000 or 2,500, 60, 2,500, 4,900, 60, 73, and so yeah, about 13,000. Yeah, that's about right. So um, we're going to be going through a lot of wood every night. So we need to make sure we can accommodate that. I think we're past the point of being able to grow trees. It takes two years for trees to grow. Um, so yeah, that's not going to be very viable. That thing's probably almost full already, isn't it? It's getting there. Let's uh, let's take a look and see. Yeah, 61%. I don't think you can do straw with this thing, can you? No. Canola does not do straw. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. So that's good. We need to get a straw grain in so we may we'll look at the shorgum if we can harvest shorgum and then go ahead and just put um wheat or oat or something like the wheat down maybe i think we can put wheat down when can we put wheat down let's see wheat shorgum yeah we can get wheat in let's get wheat in so that way we can get straw wheat or barley whichever one we can do and uh we'll do that all right prefabs oh prefabs are on the other side so there's our beams and long planks, so we'll get those later. But right now, this is what we're looking for, these guys. Yes siree, Bob. All right, that's pretty, actually, let me do this for the trailer here. That'll be good. All right, and the sunflowers are looking really good. Let's get these prefab walls on here. Get them sold and make our money. This was big, like really big for us. 
All right, let's see here. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna speed up selling everything here. Um, we'll get the prefab walls, long planks, beams, honey, all that sold. So it's gonna be a bit of a time lapse. And while we're doing that, we'll t check in on the uh, harvester, make sure that uh, we're getting all of our canola into the canola factory and get it processing. Um, so this may take just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up for you guys. So you don't have to sit and bear with me on all of this. And once we get that done, I uh, will see you guys. So until then, enjoy the time lapse. So I figured I'd share this with you guys. Let's take a look here and see what we got. One fifty. Just off of that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Well, we're back off to go get the uh, planks and long planks and honey. So uh, we'll hop right back into it. Looks like we're going to get quite a bit of canola as well. Um, he's about a pass and a half. Got us a full tank there. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have quite a bit of canola to run with. Um, so that'll be good. But let's go ahead and jump right back into the time lapse. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying it. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Until then. Okay, so let's take a look here and see. We need to get some stuff out of the way here. I'm gonna hold on to the honey. We made a lot of money there and honey prices aren't that great. So I think we could start holding on to it. Um, so we may move it over into the pallet storage location here in just a little bit. But right now I wanna see about getting a clothing shop down and getting the fabric in there and see how much we're gonna need. Cause if we need to, we can go ahead and get down another um, sheep enclosure and a spinnery so we're going to put the spinner or the clothing shop right here in the middle of the two so let's get all this equipment out of the way to do that there we go all right we're hooked up and we're on now we're going to put probably purchase this land here and put a garage in pretty soon. Um, so we'll go ahead and just kind of store everything right here for now. All right, and we'll move the planter out of the way and we'll see he's almost full. And tell you what, um, 
Do I have time? Nah, I don't really have time. I'll get him on the next one. Uh, next time we'll get the wagon out to him. Not a huge issue. We are going to need to get a uh, silo down, but we could do that after probably next month after we while we're harvesting the shortgun, we'll find a nice place to put down a, uh, a silo. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this guy off and we got everything enough out of the way here. I think we can get a clothing shop in, so let's do that and see what that looks like. Okay, um, production, clothing shop, let's see, where is it at? I think it's, um, is it, ooh, gold production, we could get that going too. Uh, let's see here. Where's our clothing shop at? I think that's it. Yep, tailor shop. Okay, so let's see here. Now we drop off. Where do we drop off at? I think we drop off pick up at the same place. Let's turn on the uh, markers real fast just to see where we're going to be picking up and dropping off at. And production, tailor shop. Okay, so there's where we pick up. Where are we dropping off? Okay, we're dropping off over there. We're picking up in the back. So we could technically do something like this and put it like right here. Because, I mean, if we're picking up in the back, right, we could just pick up there and then we can drop off on that side. So... Maybe somewhere like right, right there. That looks pretty good. How close is that to the other side though? You know what, that's not a bad deal. We can just kind of make a little pickup area right there. Let's see, we are snapped, right? Okay. So maybe right, somewhere like right there maybe, I guess. That looks good. Okay, let's see what it takes to get this thing full. Yeah, that's nice because we have this here. We pick up here. We drop off cloth on this side. Nice. Okay. So let's see. How much does it take per month to run this guy? Um, clothes. We're going to do 2,000 and 2,160 fabric a month to get 1,000 fabric. How much is cloth? Cloth is 11 and that's 30. So yeah, that, that works out actually really good. So let's go ahead and get our fabric, get it in there and get that running. I think I can get out of here. Maybe we'll just push the planter back out of the way a little bit. Yep, there we go. And let's get our fabric and get it in there and get it running. So we can start producing clothes. And yeah, we're looking really good. Now, are we making, we're not making 2000 a month, are we? So let me look at that real quick. So fabric, we're only making, okay, so if we got cotton in, we would be making 2000 a month. So we need to do cotton possibly. Okay, so because right now we're only making 1400 a month. So if we could get cotton in there, hmm, cotton takes a year to do. Dang, maybe we should have got cotton earlier. All right, we, uh, I tell you what we'll do, we'll get two wool places, <clears throat> and then once we'll do cotton, we can double up production on the clothing shop. We'll get two of them running. But for now, we just need to get the cloth we have. Um, you know what, we can carry all four if we throw the weight on. Let's go ahead and do that. And then that can run for a year, and we'll store all the clothes in the pallet location. We'll sell those next year when we get tons of money for them. And that'll be really good. And our thing is stopped again. So let's get this guy out of here and then go turn this in. Yeah, we're getting a lot of canola. So I'm hoping we'll do some calculations once we get the entire field done and see if we're gonna have enough for a year's worth of canola. Um, we're going to replant canola in this field. So it's going to be just basically pick up canola, put down canola. And, uh, yeah. 
let's see, canola oil. We're doing um, ninety six hundred a month. So for a year, we would need close to ninety thousand. Are we going to get ninety thousand? We might. We don't need a full year. I mean, yeah, it'd be great to get a full year, but if we get over a hundred thousand, I think we'll be good for a year. If we get a hundred thousand liters, we've already used some, so we know that. But um, if I think if we can get over a hundred thousand, we'll be good, and it'll produce until we we get ready to sell. And then, if need be, we can always knock down our cabin, extend this field, and make it even bigger. But we're looking really good. Let's get the clothing production going and then we'll see where we're at. And we'll just continue to work on harvesting this field. And then we gotta prep it and get it ready for plant. So, yeah, I'm, we're sitting really good, guys. I'm really happy with the progress we've made this year alone. Um, it's just something that has been really, really good for us. So let's get rid of our interactive zones. We know where everything goes now. And let's get our cloth out of here. Pallet of fabric, there we go. Get those out. And let's get these into the clothing shop and start making clothes. So yeah, we're looking really good. I think production wise, we're going to be making lots of money these last couple of years. Um, should be able to make quite a bit. And once we get cattle and chickens involved, we'll be making even more money there. So, There we go. Can we carry that? Yes, we can. All right. Off we go. Make clothes. I think for now, though, we are going to need to get another sheep enclosure and um, spinnery down. So we may just go ahead and move all the bales and get that done. Um, that was not good. But it'll work. We can deal with it. There we go. And let's get our clothing going. There we go. On storing very nice so we have a lot of production going now let's see uh the sheep have eaten through all of their food it looks like how are they doing um they still have plenty for now um we're gonna need to get more uh we'll use the hay right now to feed them but we need to move all of that stuff so um how much is a spinnery that's sixty thousand. that's how much is the sheep let's take a look at that real quick sheep enclosure we might just do that first um that's fifty thousand plus the sheep to put in there okay so we'll do that yeah and then i think we'll be able to do we spin them around backwards or would you keep them the same way? I think we keep them the same way. Yeah, we keep them the same way. I think. Uh, let's see here. Let's get the weight off and get the full pallet of forks off. We won't need those for a little bit. And then we could get the sheep enclosure down, get sheep down, and then next month once we sell, we could get the um next spinnery down and the clothing shop now if we all right so if we have two let's just see i know all right so we're looking at two spinneries for a one clothing shop basically with just wool now if we had cotton when can we plant cotton let's see um Cotton, 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 cotton. Uh, yeah, here we go. Cotton can be planted in February and harvested in October. And if we harvest that in October, we can put wheat down. Technically, what we could we could do this next year, we could do cotton and harvest it next year and have two full years of because we'll be in year seven next year. We could have 
the end of year seven, year eight, year nine, year 10. So actually three full years of cotton in there. So if we did, and then we could probably put another clothing shop down for the last year or two. Um, so we may do cotton in the shorgum field and then do wheat. Or maybe we just get another field. That's not a bad idea. Um, we may get another field and do cotton. And because we need to do wheat because we need hay. Um, so we may just get another field and do cotton in it. I, that might be what I do. Because we just, we need, we need cotton. At least one farm of cotton. The only big thing about that is we're going to have to buy a cotton harvester. How much are those? Let's see here. Cotton baler. Cotton technology. Okay, so we could get this one for 485. Yeah, that one be just fine. We can manage that easily. We don't need uh, some big million dollar machine. We're not we're only doing it one time. So we get this one, we harvest it, we sell it. It holds 20,000 liters in each bag, so that would be good. And if we can get 20k liters into the spinneries for like a year, year and a half, that'd be solid. All right, how's this guy doing? He's at 70%. So let's go ahead. Let me get the, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the pallet forks off. We'll get over there, get the uh, bale trailer, get all the bales moved, and get down more sheep. I think it's going to be our goal here today. And we have plenty of money to do that. And then once we get the sheep going and they start making enough wool, we'll get the spinnery down. And then we'll start. Um, double filling this because we're going to need two spinneries to produce for this uh, guy here. So let's just think about this though, right? So let's think. If we're doing two, we might have extra cotton. We'll, we may store some extra, uh, not cotton, but wool. As long as we keep 2,800 in each spinnery, we can set the excess off to the side. Um, each month and I think we do that to save it because we don't want to have a ton of excess in there just for the simple fact that we're gonna need yeah I don't think we do any excess I think we just kind of keep it the way it is and do it that way okay so let's get the bales uh, loaded up and once we do that we'll I don't know where we're gonna put them where do we put them for now? Just move them down, I guess. I'm wondering though, do we just go ahead and put a, I kind of want to make this like a mirror image, right? So like we could have sheep, spinnery, clothing shop, clothing shop, or clothing shop, spinnery. Yeah, maybe we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll do that. Be kind of fun. Okay, we're running into our bells here. What's going on? All right, this may take a minute. Let me uh, speed this up one last time here. We've got a pretty long episode going. Um, let's just check. So let's um, go ahead and I'll speed up getting the bells moved and then I'll bring you guys back. I think what we'll do is we'll get the uh, sheep and the new uh, spinnery down. And then we'll probably end it there until the next day, and then we'll continue on. We got the rest of the field to finish harvesting. Looks like he is empty or full, so let's get him emptied out. We're looking pretty good. I think we'll get a couple more tanks out of this, and uh, let's see where we're at on canola. How are we doing on canola? Uh, we're at 38,000, so yeah, we're getting there. Um, we'll see.
it's you know plus this so this is another 12 we should be around 50,000 have we done more than half the field I think we've done more than half the field we may need a bigger field um, which if necessary we will knock out all those trees and we will make this field even double inside so um, are we halfway through yet yeah we're definitely over halfway through so we'll see at the very end we may need to make the canola field bigger And if that's the case, it's not a huge issue. All right, get this guy started back on this line here. And then uh, we'll be on our way. Let's see, make sure he's getting everything. Off you run, little guy. Okay, now we'll speed everything up, and we'll see you guys here in a couple of minutes once we get all this cleaned up and situated. And until then, enjoy this short little time lapse. Now that we got everything moved, let's uh, get our new buildings down. The harvester's doing good. He's moving right along. We'll let this thing get folded up, and then we'll drop it off. All right, let's see here. We are looking really good. Okay, so I want to get these about as straight as we can get them. I think I'm gonna park the tractor right on our property line so I know kind of where it's at. Okay, so we wanna be just in front of our tractor a little bit here, right on the edge of our tractor. Yeah. Alright, we want the roof basically right on the edge of our tractor here. I want to try and get this nice and straight here. Okay. Um, okay. Animals. Sheep. Another sheeper. Get it turned around here. There we go. And then right about there, I believe where we're going to be. Let's zoom out and see what we can see. Yeah. Here we go. And let's get right there possibly. That looks good. And do we do good? Let's see. I think we did pretty good. Yep, we can get in there and deliver, and we have sheep. All right, let's get sheep in here. And we're gonna have to get ahead for our sunflower, but we won't be able to have to do that for another couple months. So let's go ahead. Let's see, we did 20, 20, 20, and 15 last time. So let's do the same here. We'll do 15 of these. Um, 
15. And we're going to need to feed these guys too. So that's something we're going to have to look at. 15 of these. Nope, 20 of these. Bye. <clears throat> and then 20 of these. And then 20 of these. That's 75. All right, let's get them some food. Um, we'll use the hay. We need to get our front loader attachment on. Let's go do that real fast. And then I think we have enough to put down another spinnery so we can go ahead and get that down. And then as that one starts producing wool, we'll get it into that spinnery. Um, but yeah, we're looking really good. Let's see how are we... All right, we're getting pretty full there, but we should be fine. And then we're going to need to next month get this field right here. Go ahead and start prepping for cows and chickens and get the head for our sunflowers. And we need to get a silo down. So we need to look at that as well. But we're moving right along here. We're, it's time to year six, baby. Year six. That's where we get our stuff done. And these last couple of years is really just a race to see how much we can get going here. All right, we'll customize this guy. Get the front loader attachment on. There we go. And off we run. And let's get these guys some hay. We have enough to fill them up and give both of them a little bit extra and then we'll get another field mode. And we have, remember we have all that grass over on the other side of our wooded field where the sawmill is. We can mow that too, which we may do here in the next couple episodes. <clears throat> get all that grass mowed over there, mow everything, everything up we can and just bail it up into hay so we can, or even just grass, um, so we can feed our sheep. Probably do it in hay, so that way if we have any left over, we can push it into the TMR factory because we're going to get that down here pretty soon. And then within probably three, four months here, we'll have enough money saved up. We'll be able to get our cattle and we'll probably have chickens before then. So we'll just do it in progression like as we go. Um, where am I going? Oh, I need to get my front loader. Okay. And that guy looks full, so let's go ahead and get him emptied real quick. Yep. Wait for him to stop here. And then we'll get them in there. How much do we have in there so far? Canola oil? It's going to be close. We're probably not going to have a full year's worth. Um, we will have a lot, but we may not have a full year's worth. We need to extend this field just a little bit further. Um, so we'll work on that. We're going to need wood for our plant anyway. So maybe <clears throat> one of these episodes will work on clearing out the top of this hill. And then we'll extend this field all the way up and over and get it big enough to where we can do a full year's worth of canola. We're gonna have a lot, a lot more than last time for sure, but uh, we need to get it bigger, so. There we go. While that's unloading, we'll get our front loader attachment on, then we'll get him back to work. And feed our new sheep so they can start producing wool, which means we're also gonna get more babies and more lambs, so we'll have a little bit extra money there. Everything we're doing is really good. We're making more money left and right. And we may just go ahead and store our honey. Um, I need the bells. I don't need this guy. Need the bell fork. And yeah, I think we maybe just start storing our honey in the uh, barn over there. Probably be the best thing to do. Let's go get this hay, feed these guys, and then we'll just kind of jump chain this, right? So sheep, spinnery, clothing shop, and that'll probably take up a whole line of production here. And let's start, yeah, we can just start on this side. I think we can carry three at a time. And these are like almost 9,000, so it shouldn't take too many. Let's see here. There we go. Yep, there we are.
In retrospect, we probably should have gotten the um, other sawmill fast sooner, um, just because we lost out on a couple years of making a ton of money. But I mean, it worked out. We're still good. I mean, I think we're still in a really good spot. So. It was worth getting those fields because getting the sunflower and all that done was kind of a big task. Uh oh, are we going to lose that one? Let's see if we can. Nope, we're going to lose it. All right, no big deal. We'll grab it back here in a second. Let's see if we can just slide these off. What do you think? Skirt. Um, okay, you're not wanting to come off there. That's fine. Can you at least. There we go. Now come off there. Thank you. And oh, we need to get this guy going again. Forgot about him. All right, so we're almost done harvesting this field and then we're gonna need to get it field prepped and ready to go. Um, we do have the new cultivator, so we'll get fertilizer down, cultivate it, get the rocks out and then get the um, it planted. Now, we may we, we have a little bit of time, so we may save up and get a new planter because um, we're going to definitely be able to afford that here pretty soon. I'd like to get a big planter um, so that way this doesn't take as long to do to redo. So let's see here. here we go and we can set the sky off once again. Here we are. Now we are using a little bit of money for the helper, but uh, it's fine. Not too worried about that. And then eventually we'll get us a semi and we'll probably go ahead and get a forklift for over at the sawmill. Cause there's gonna be a lot of forklift doing over there. Um, is that in the spot there? I don't know if that's in the trigger. Is that in the trigger? Now it is. I just think it is. Are they full? Let's see, they might be full. Yeah, I think they're full. Okay, good. Let's just double check here and see. Um, sheeps. This one, where's our second one that we got? Okay, here we go. They are full of wood, or full of food, sorry. Um, so let's go ahead and give each one of them maybe a couple of bales, uh, just extra, so we don't have to feed them overnight. Maybe a stack each here will be good. Or that one might take four, this one will take three. Let's get all the way up there, and then... There we go. Good, that should ride just fine. All right, so they've already got one in there. Let's take this over to the other sheep pen and we'll drop it and we'll leave like one or two out in front. on there can we get it off here we go alrighty that should be good for hay let's uh, go ahead and check everything out here see how we're doing all right so those guys are good those guys are good um, we are good on productions. Let's see, clothes are going, which is nice. Uh, these guys are still running, which is great. Canola oil is running. Yep, we're good there. We're gonna get close to 90. I, I mean, I think all in all the field put around 100,000 in it. Um, but yeah, we should be good. Now we need another spinnery. So let's go ahead. Maybe we'll put that down in the morning. Nah, let's just go ahead and put it down now. I think we can afford it. It's 60,000, right? Pretty sure. Let's see. Another spinnery here. 
this guy. Yeah, it's only 60. So let's go ahead and get that down. And we need room to be able to maneuver. So right about there-ish. Looks good to me. All right. And then that way in the morning. Yeah, that's fine. We can maneuver in there. Um, so in the morning, we will uh, get the new wool and put it in there. They should start producing and we'll just get both of these guys running and yeah, we'll be good to go. So let's take a look. We should be able to drive over here and our harvester may have stopped because there might be a stump up there. So let's check him out, finish up this field and then we'll probably call it a day. So let's see here. Yeah, he stopped because there's a stump. No big deal. Let's uh You know, if you would just put your edge on the edge of the field, that wouldn't be a problem, my guy. <clears throat> what a good day. We got um, all of our canola harvested. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on auto for just a second and take a look here and see when we need to replant. So we need to replant next month. So we'll go ahead and start prepping the field today. And then actually, you know what? We could do it all in one day. I think we'll be fine. I want to get a different, uh, <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. No, we've got a new cultivator. So dad, we might do it this afternoon. We could at least get half the field prep done this afternoon. <clears throat> and then get the uh, yeah although we don't have a new mulcher I want to get a bigger mulcher so maybe we'll do that in the morning and there we have it canola done let's go get this put in we may not have enough for a full year so we are going to need to expand the field so we'll go ahead and do that. And then Shorgum will probably be next month, right? Yeah, Shorgum is going to be next month. And then the Sunflower is going to be after that in November. So we still have a few more months before we need to get ahead for the uh, Sunflower. So we will definitely have the money by then to do that. And yeah, we're starting to really accelerate here again this isn't been year five and year six have been really good for acceleration we're only halfway through or three quarters of the way through year six so really really well done um we'll leave this right over here because we're going to need it for the shorgum uh next month so we'll just kind of leave him here And let's take a look here and see. Um, yeah, we have one month before we need to replant our canola. So let's go ahead and let's get the spreader. Um, I need to go up and get fertilizer anyway. So let's just get the front weight and the spreader on. And let's go ahead and get this field fertilized. And then maybe we'll go into next month and get the field prepped and ready to plant and get a planter. So I want to get a new mulcher and a new planter next month, which means we may need to sell some of our honey, but not too worried about that. Um, we'll take this up here. We'll get this three point switched out and then we'll get this onto the front of the tractor. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we might have time to go ahead and get that field prepped and ready and get it replanted. Uh, we'll just have to see. But we can at least get the fertilizing done tonight and see where we stand in the morning. Kind of judge it from there. So. And if we need to, like I said, we can always sell our honey. So I'm not too worried about it. All right, let's see here. Customize. Need the three point back on there. Thank you very much. And eventually we'll have a shop to do that by ourselves. So...
Okay. We're... Come on now. You're right in the right spot. Okay, maybe you're not in the right spot. Are you in the right spot now? There you go. That was weird. Wasn't allowing me to attach it. But... Not a huge issue. Let's see. I want to check and see how much fertilizer we have left in our... Um, barn over here. I think we have a little bit. We'll get the spreader, get the fertilizer out, see what we got in for fertilizer. And then we're going to need to expand this field. So maybe we'll do that first thing tomorrow. We'll sell the house, cut down a crap ton of trees and expand this field out. It's going to be an all day express um, thing. So we need to kind of, actually we could wait till then. Hmm, we're looking really good guys. I think Honestly, that might wrap up the episode. We got a lot to do. We'll get it done in the next episode We'll get back in here. We'll get this field uh, fertilized cultivated clear out a bunch of those trees expand the field up the hill uh, Quite a bit get some more stuff mowed. It's gonna be a very long fast day tomorrow. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and We will see you in the next one and as always have a royal day and until then, take care.